Hi guys, I'm AJ Gowen. I go by Aquabots. I'm a team pilot for ReadyMadeRC.com and uh, I'm going to go over my Gobi 180 build for you guys. Uh, I've been flying around the prototype and I uh, just got my full frame in so I'm going to switch everything over. I just wanted to show you how I place everything, the components that I'm using and, and go from there. So, Okay, so here's the kit from ReadyMadeRC.com. Gobi 180. This is how you're going to get it in the package. And let's get this started. So the frame itself, uh, the bottom plate is going to be four millimeters thick. Also has a lifetime warranty. So if you do break this bottom plate, get a hold of Ready Mirror C and I'll get you a new one. You got multiple standoffs here. So you have lots of choices and how you want to and how you can build your frame. It's kind of, it's modular, so all kinds of different sizes there. This is the first time I'm seeing some of this stuff here, so. This will be your battery bay. And your top deck. So I'm going to use these Tiger motors, the blue Tiger motors from the ReadyMadeRC.com. They come with two prop adapters. You have your uh, clockwise and counterclockwise in each motor. So you get two of these in each motor. You have the choice of which one you want to run. I've already got these from my last Gobi, from the prototype I had, uh, already wired up with these ready-made RC 20 amp ESCs. So I'm just going to leave these soldered up. I'm using the short screws. You have two sets of screws here. You have the short ones and the long ones. So one of these is short, one of them is long. I'm using the short. I normally only use I normally only ever use uh, two of these screws in each motor, but I'm gonna go ahead and use four. I've got these ESCs installed. Um, these are the ESCs that we're using. They are 20 amp ESCs. And that's what these are. We got a little heat shrink already on them, ready to go. I'm going to be using the ready-made RC power distribution board with a 12 volt and a 5 volt BEC. This is going to be your front and this is going to be your back. You can tell by the two holes in the end and the three slots right here. That allows for multiple different ways to mount a camera. For example, this camera here, which is the ready-made RC, it's ready-made RC sells this Runcam 650 TVL, which is a 12 volt camera. Um, and it has the three lines you can, three holes you can use with those three lines. I'm going to be using this camera. Uh, Ready Made RC sells this camera. Comes in a package like this. NTSC. It's got a microphone built into it. And it's the Pico cam. 3.3, 3.6 volt to 18 volt. 22 volts, I think. I can't remember. I'll put a link in the description to that camera. I have a Dodo V3 here. This anti static bag that they ship it in. A V3 Dodo. 
And I'm going to mount mine like this. Um, probably going to mount it like this. For this mount, for this build, I'm just going to be using an immersion VTX because ReadyMade RC is out of stock on these video transmitters, which I prefer because of the size, the race band, etc. But I'm going to uh, F3 Expo and we're going to be using immersion video transmitters on race band, I'm assuming. So I'm going to go ahead and set everything up so that way I have it ready to go when I get to Atlanta to just... Uh, plug and play and strap on a VTX so let's with this camera I was gonna try and mount with these uh, standoffs which I have room to do and you would have room to do too if you wanted to with that camera that is um, I mean obviously I'm gonna have to spend a little time adjusting everything this is just a dry run but basically the only thing is that I would have to trim some of this out. Uh, they've also in included three extra holes here, so you can mount the camera on top. If you want to use a larger camera, you can mount it right here. Um, and that's going to help get the props out of the way out of your camera too. I only had very little prop inside of my camera, and I had a, a fisheye lens, a 2.1, on my, my Fat Shark cam. So if you're using a 2.1, you're going to see props if you mount down here. Um, if you use a 2.8, I think you're going to be okay if you mount down here. I'm going to use this cam though, and I'm going to make this a little bit taller using these standoffs. And so I'm actually going to be able to mount this one just perfectly fine on an angle and get everything I need out of it. You could also grind some out, some of this carbon out, and, uh, and mount in there too. Or you could even cut this off and then put two standoffs here. If you really want to get your FPV cam down in the bottom layer, you could just cut this off right here and then have an open spot. So you, you got a lot of possibilities here. You're gonna have to do a little bit of fabricating if you want to do something like that, but it's not required. There's definitely ways around without having to, to cut anything. So um, these top decks are super cheap. I think they're like $10. I, I, I have to look it up and see, but I can't remember. Um, so it's not too big of a deal, but the way I'm going to mount it for now is I'm just going to go ahead and throw these standoffs on there. So I'll pull out some screws here real quick from the, that came with the fit. Got my cam mounted in there. Another good thing about this camera is it's got a microphone built in. So it has audio coming out, which you can then run into your VTX and send signal back to your goggles. Uh, and if you're like me, I've kind of got addicted to using this earbud um, just, to, just so I can hear the motor, a faint noise, a faint sound of the motors. Um, especially when I'm far away or I'm racing with other people, I'd like to be able to hear my quadcopter a little bit. It, it just makes me, uh, I, I don't know what it does. It just that and it has a little bit of faint white noise and that really helps me get immersed into flying. Uh, I don't get distracted so easy. It's a high quality earbud too. It's just a single, it's not long, so it doesn't tangle up. Also, this is like a, a braided line, so it's protected. Um, 
And that combined with this this uh, camera, if you go to, if you're wanting to race um, and you get handed a video transmitter that doesn't have a mic built into it, like the ready-made RC video transmitter, which has one mic built into it, um, then what you can do is run the microphone off of the camera. So that way you always have audio if you get used to using that. So that's one of the benefits of this camera. Um, so now I've just got to figure out what BTX I'm going to use and how I'm going to mount it. Currently all I have is this uh, 600 watt immersion uh, BTX. I've got a 25 milliwatt um, VTX from Ready Mirror C, but I don't really like to use that for racing. When I'm around the house and stuff, I like to fly behind trees and buildings, so I don't really want to use that for this application. Um, and my six, my 600 Ready Made RC is going to be going in the uh, the Krieger just because it fits so perfectly, and this does not. So, okay, guys, I'm basically done here. It looks not the prettiest because of this video transmitter here. Um, like I said, this is going to be a race setup, so I'm going to be using an immersion VTX for the races at Atlanta for F3 Expo. So uh, I'm just throwing this one on there for now. I don't have any more ready-made RC VTXs. They're out of stock. But this is what my quad looks like completed. Um, if I'm going to change anything, it'll definitely be the VTX. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to need to do is figure out a way to mount the transponder, which I'll probably just mount it right here for the race since I probably won't be running a, a HD cam. I'm running these new HQ Bullnose Props 4x4. Four four. I've already configured all this stuff in Clean Flight, so I've already tested motors. They're all spinning correctly. Um, everything that I want is set up in my BL Heli ESCs, so that's good to go. Once again, these are ready-made RC 20 amp ESCs. And I think all I did for these motors is I, I set it to uh, medium high on timing. And um, that's about it. So there it is. I just wanted to show you uh, another way to build this. I cut my top deck down slightly, cut it shorter, and then moved my standoffs back a little bit in the front. And that allows you to mount different types of cameras. Um, this is just a 3D printed mount for a run cam 650 TVL. Uh, so I threw that on there. Um, just to show you guys. But here is a look at it all finished up.